Hello, this is Eric at the Prince George Ford Pre-Owned Supercenter, and we're taking a look at the 2015 Ford Explorer in a limited trim and powered by a 3.5 liter V6 engine, providing you with plenty of power for getting around with four-wheel drive capabilities, so you can get around pretty well in the changing weather conditions. But let's take a look inside. First looking into the back, we have a nice power lift gate that opens up and out of the way for you, revealing your cargo area and third row seating area. You do have seating for seven in this vehicle with a nice full leather interior. Even the last two seats get their own cup holders and cubbies, and you have power controls for the uh, third row seats, so you can stow them, have them flat for storage, but you still have a ton of room in here, and you have a 12 volt power outlet, and this closes again with another simple press of a button. Then looking into the back seat, we have comfortable seating for three with fold out armrests and two cup holders in the middle, as well as having your rear climate controls, heated rear seats, 12 volt power outlet, 110 volt power outlet. And this vehicle does have a remote start, so no need to go outside on those cold mornings to warm up your car, SUV. And looking in, you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks, as well as three memory buttons for your power adjustable driver's seat, steering wheel, possibly also your pedals and your mirrors. Now sitting in the vehicle with it running, you can see it's sitting at 142,368 kilometers. And moving onto your, onto your steering wheel on the right-hand side, you have your hands-free phone and radio controls, as well as your controls for your right-hand screen, which has your entertainment, navigation, and phone controls. And then moving on to the left, where you have your cruise controls with your controls for your left screen, where you can cycle through your RPMs, RPMs and oil temperature, four-wheel drive status, distance to empty, and then you can also go into your trip one and two information, uh, fuel economy, driver assistance features and settings, and settings in general for your screen and some other features around your vehicle. Moving on uh, to the left, you have your hatch release, tow haul mode, and your uh, automatic or active park assist, which is pretty neat, and your lighting controls, of course. Then moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is... Radio, Sirius, CD, USB, Bluetooth, SD, and auxiliary capable, so you have a ton of options there. In the bottom right, you have your digital climate controls with dual zone front climate, heated and air conditioned front seats, and a heated steering wheel. In the top right, you have your navigation screen, so you're hopefully not going to get lost. And in the top left, you have your Bluetooth phone controls. Shifting into reverse, you do also have a backup camera, so you can see where you're going and hopefully avoid hitting anything. Moving down further, you have your hazards and then your physical, media, and climate controls, again with dual zone front climate. And then you have this compartment here with a 12 volt, two USBs, uh, SD and auxiliary port, so you can plug something into power or charge or hook up your audio from there. Then you have your main shifter with select shift on the side, so you can manually shift through your gears, two cup holders, and then here you have your terrain selector. So you have mud rut, snow gravel grass and sand so you can customize your driving experience a bit there and of course in the middle you have your hill descent assist then you have your center compartment slash armrest which is pretty big inside with a, another 12 volt power outlet then looking up last but not least you do have a panoramic moonroof that goes all the way to the back so you can land the sunshine but that should cover our look at the interior so now if you're interested, come visit us at Prince George Ford, pgford.ca, or call 250-563-8111 and have a nice day.